as Newton D. Baker was coming to the end of his second term as the mayor of the city of Cleveland, he decided that he wanted to start a law firm in Cleveland, notwithstanding that at that point in time he really could have gone to any law firm in the country. But he wanted to start a firm with two young colleagues who served in his cabinet, Tom Sidlow and Joe Hostetler. They each put $500 into a bank account and on January 1, 1916, started the law firm of Baker, Hostetler, and Sidlow. From their standpoint, it took a lot of courage because they had they had no clients, they had no law business. They, they all loved the law, had great respect for the practice of the law, and great respect and admiration for each other. And it was based on that that they started the firm. A short two months later, Newton D. Baker was called to Washington by President Woodrow Wilson to serve as Secretary of War, and Hostetler and Sidlow were left to run the firm until Newton D. Baker came back in 1921. During that period of time, uh, Tom Sidlow, who was an excellent attorney and did a great job in building client relationships, brought in a number of clients, several of which are still clients of the firm today. Joe Hostetler, who was responsible for running the business side of the firm, um, really did a great job in that regard. I think uh, when Newt D. Baker came back in 1921, they had 29 lawyers in the firm at that time. Joe Hostetler had a great reputation for being not just a great business lawyer, but also a great businessman. And in fact, he was really responsible for a lot of the business side of the firm um, for most of his career. And it was during that time that not only uh, was he responsible f in a large part for the business side of the firm, but also for hiring a lawyer. He had great um, judgment on people and is responsible for hiring a number of the people that were um, really very instrumental in the firm uh, as we move forward. Part of the key to our success is is the culture that's in our DNA. I think we've been able to be successful because of how well everyone continues to work together and that goes all the way back to the founding of the firm when I think the partners who founded the firm thought it was important to approach every matter the same way. Um, I think that there, there's a, a certain respect for doing things the right way that's part of who we are. I think everybody works together. I know that when we um, talk with uh, lateral partners about joining the firm, or when we've talked for that matter with with other groups, and in the case of uh, some of the mergers we've done, I know most recently the Woodcock-Washburn merger, one of the things that we talked about is how important it is for people to work together cross office with the idea being that we want to get the best possible result for our clients.